The current government of Nigeria will recognize that um, expenditure on health is investing in the human capital of the country and as well it means direct investment in the economy because it's only when you have a healthy people that they will be productive and, con and contribute to the growth of the economy. We also have aspired to make sure that we have a country that grows on a sustainable and inclusive basis. So we are committing, we have committed ourselves to continuously increase the investment in health as well as in education because that is where the human capital investment is. The um, clamor for the 1% consolidated fund is something we are very committed to meeting. It's, it is good to advocate for increase in health. We also, from all we've done, clearly we've shown that we recognize that health is a sector that must have increased finances. But let us not forget where we're coming from. We're coming from a situation, an economic situation that is very, very challenging. This law was passed in 2014. At the time when the oil price was $100, $120, oil price, crude oil price crashed to um, uh, $30 at some point. Now it's up to about $50, $55. So we're struggling to make sure the, the economy stays afloat and trying to meet the requirements of the different sectors of the economy. So it's a process and we're working in the right direction.